Hey guys, this is John from Steeda. I'm here this week to give another tech tip on something that's really left out often and kind of goes under the radar. It's your bump stops. I get a lot of calls every week from people who put springs on their cars and they say, hey, you know, my car is riding really bumpy right now, or hey, it's handling a little bit weird. And a lot of the problem is this right here. See the factory ones, it's pretty spongy, you can move it around. It's that way just because it's made from the factory, the car is going to hit it. That's how the car is designed on these, but when you lower it, it screws that all up. These over time will degrade, fall apart. These are one of the fronts, and you can see they kind of start to fade a little bit. This week we're going to focus on the rear bump stops, and this is what your stock one looks like. It fits on a stock shock. I got one of our Steeda Pro actions right here. It sits like this underneath the dust boot, and what they do is it stops the shock from going too far down and causing damage to it. Now, with a stock suspension, it's about only about an inch away from the bump stop on stock springs, which is fine and dandy if you don't have lowering springs or don't have aftermarket shocks, anything like that. The problem is when you lower it, it's sitting on top of this all the time and it's creating an artificial spring rate. We like to avoid that. It's something that we've learned in our years and years of racing. So we're gonna show you how to fix that today. So the first thing we do is just toss that. We're gonna go to one of our Steeda sets right here. And these are two-piece design, and it lets you just choose the height based on if you have a minimum drop spring or a stock spring versus a real lowering spring. Now, if you're using a stock or something that drops it less than half an inch, you're going to run both of these put together like this. Now, if we're doing one of our lowering springs, like our Steeda Sport Progressives, which is our most popular spring, you're going to run it like this. So a quick and easy way to get the dust boot put on this is just to drop this on it and let it go all the way down. Take the dust boot, drop it all the way down, and kind of walk it down on top of it, and it pops on like that. Pull it back off. Now we're going under the assumption we're putting one of our Steeda Sport Progressive springs on today. So I'm just going to drop the O-ring on top of the shock right here. Walk it down. Just sit it a little below that. We're going to leave this one out because that's only for stock springs and minimum drop. We're just going to drop this right on top here, put your fingers on top, push it down a little bit until it's right here under the lip. Congratulations, you've now reassembled your shock. All you do, put the shock back together on top, stick it in the car, and you're good to go. This is something that I can't stress enough. A lot of shops, if you take it to your everyday automotive shop to put the springs on, they don't know this stuff, and it's you know, really not their fault, they're not specialists. So you just remember, if you take it there, they got to trim the bump stops, or the better way to do it is install the Steeda adjustable bump stop kit. And also, I've got the fronts out here just to show you. It's the same deal. The fronts come apart two pieces for stock or minimum drop. You're going to run it as the big part for aftermarket springs like our Steeda Sport Progressives, our Steeda Linears, or our competition springs. You're going to run the single upper larger part. So I hope this has really helped you guys out and giving you a little bit of an idea of what to look for next time you're putting the springs in the car, having somebody put them in. If you've got any questions, give us a call at 954-960-0774. Ask for me, John, or just you know send us a message on the live chat. Send us an email. We're more than happy to help you out. Speed matters to us. It matters to you. We want you guys to win. Thanks for tuning in.